And therefore the Torah tells us the Yosef Haya B'Mitzrayim. And Yosef was in Egypt because he truly became Yosef in Egypt. You know, one of the Mishalim I'd like to use, one of the parables I like to use is imagine you were given the task of coming up with a flag for your family, okay? Why your family has a flag, I got no idea. But you got to make up a flag. So you come up with an em emblem. It's got like a, a castle, okay, with a big moat and an alligator. That's your emblem. That's like your logo in the center of the flag. And then, you know, the colors, you pick a color scheme. So you pick gold, blue, you know, maybe there's some yellow in there. It's your favorite colors. You design it, you hire somebody to thread it, and you have this beautiful flag. You hang it up on the pole, and you look at it, and then you wait, and you wait, and you see it's just drooping. And you're like, wait a second. I mean, I see part of the castle. I see like the head of the alligator. I see some of the letters in the description. I see, you know, the colors, but I don't really see it in its entirety. But that's not until something happens. You see, once there's that element of wind, once there's that opposition, that factor that's now opposing, that's coming, that's against, ah, now you see the flag in its true colors. You see, the flag is only as beautiful as the wind that causes it to show itself, to show its colors. You could have the most beautiful flag, but if there is not that opposition, if there isn't that Yitzhahara, if there isn't that oppression, then it might be hard to see it. It might be hard to see the true colors come forth. 